Hello everyone, uh, in this tutorial we're going to see how to create this explosive text effect as you can see in here uh, using Adobe Photoshop and we're going to use these two brushes in here and this texture and you will find all these uh, things that we'll be using for this tutorial down in the description below alright so just open your Adobe Photoshop and go to file new and I'm going to create a new document with this uh, setting in here but feel free to use whatever width and height you want and in the background I'm gonna change it to black color and I'm gonna press ok alright now we'll go directly to text in here and uh, the text, uh, the font I'm using it's called Nevis Bold you'll find it down in the description below too so just download it or right, something now one click and I'm gonna type explosive press ctrl a so I can select the whole canvas and I'm gonna center it in here in the alignment I'm gonna press ctrl d to this left all right now we'll go directly to the brushes in here and I'm gonna open it like that and in this gear icon I will one click and I'm gonna choose replace brush I'm gonna load these two brushes that you will download in the description below so I'm gonna start with this one I'm gonna click load as you can see it will load it and I will go again to the gear icon and this time I'm gonna choose load brush and I'm gonna load the second one in here and I'm gonna click load alright now I'm gonna create a new layer mask to this uh, text so this way I can delete from the edges with our brush so I'm gonna go and choose layer mask in here and I'm gonna grab a brush so I'm gonna use these uh, two brushes this uh, particle brush and this one uh, brush in here so I can delete from the edge so I'm gonna start with this one in here and I'm gonna rotate it a little bit like that all right I'm gonna start deleting like this as you can see so it will look like it's been exploded like that you know you can always go again and choose another brush let's choose this one this time you can delete from this edge in here like this As you can see all right and you know you can also choose uh, this particles brush in here and apply it in the middle like that so this way it looks like it's been explode like that now we'll go back to this brushes in here all right something like this now i will go and i'm gonna load the texture so we'll go and open it in a new window I'm gonna press ctrl A so I can select it I'm gonna press ctrl C so I can copy it and then I will go back to this layer I'm gonna press ctrl V so I can paste it like that I'm gonna just close this I'm gonna press ctrl T and I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller like that all right I'm gonna press enter now we need to make it a black and white so I'm gonna press ctrl shift U and as you can see this will make it black and white now uh, I'm gonna apply a level adjustment to it so I'm gonna press ctrl L and I'm gonna make it a little bit darker like that like so and a little bit whiter alright something like so alright and I'm gonna press ok now I'm gonna uh, make it as a clipping mask to this text in here so I will go between these two uh, layers in here between the text and the texture and by uh, pressing alt as you can see it will change uh, to this icon that means I can clip it 
to this text in here. So I'm gonna press Alt and one click, and as you can see it will be clipped to this text. Now we can adjust uh, the replacement of it to wherever I want. Maybe somewhere in here. Alright, I like this. Alright, looks good. Now I'm gonna create a new layer in the top of this one in here. And I'm gonna call this particles. Now we'll go to the brush again. And this time I'm gonna use this uh, particle brush in here. So with the white color, I'm gonna choose uh, different brushes in here. I'm gonna start with this one. And I'm gonna follow the cracks and the one that we just deleted from the edge. So we can create this illusion that it's been uh, moving away like uh, particles. I'm gonna start from here. So we're gonna double click to it, as you can see. Till it looks like this. Alright, let's, let's do it like that. As you can see, this will give it this really cool effect. I'm gonna choose another brush, maybe this, maybe this one. Alright, let's use it in here. As you can see, it's pretty easy to do. Alright, I'm gonna choose another one. Use this one. I'm gonna use it on this this time. something like that now I'm gonna create a new layer again and I will call this blur particles and I'm gonna grab a new brush again and let's choose this one I'm gonna rotate it like this. I'm gonna start making it around here bigger like this. And then we rotate it again. And in here. Just to make it all over the place. As you can see. Now I will go to filter, I'm gonna choose blur and radio blur and I'm gonna put the amount 5 and the blur method zoom and the quality good and I'm gonna press ok. As you can see this will make it, uh, make it as a zoom blur in here. I'm gonna put down the opacity around 50 or 60%. Now let's choose 50 something like that and I'm gonna place it around here and there you go it looks really good all right now I'm gonna give it just a little bit of color into it so we'll apply a level adjustment so we'll go to level and I will go to the red and I'm gonna adjust the, the, the blacks and the white of this so I'm gonna take this black and put it into the right a little bit just a little bit and the white and you can see when I took the white it will add a little bit of blue and I will go to the blue channel this time and I'm gonna take the black and again I will put it into the white just a little bit as you can see this will give it just a little bit of color all right looks good now as you can see this we just give it just a little bit of the cinematic color in here and I think it looks really good. Alright, and there you go. So I hope that you enjoy and you like this tutorial and it was a little bit helpful for you. Don't forget to subscribe and comment and you know wait for more tutorials to come and have a nice day. Thank you for watching.